This video was brought to you by EA Game Changers. Please note the following is not final software and is subject to change. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if you are brand spanking new. This is the very first episode of Let's Play The Sims for Cottage Living. Do keep in mind that this is technically a demo series because there is a very slight chance that at the end of this, once everything is all said and done, that I won't be able to transfer this, save the family nor the build over to the gallery so that you guys will have access to them and if by the off chance we wanted to continue with the household, um, we may not be able to because I am on a completely separate build, hence the little gamer tag that is quite annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, we are here with the Birch household. I created this family, their backstory, also their little cottage for you guys. I do actually have a create a sim on the household and also a speed build on the actual lot itself. Now, I didn't mention this already, but I will hopefully, fingers crossed, get at least bare minimum of 10 episodes up for you guys while you await the release of Cottage Living. So be rest assured, lots and lots of content will be provided for you guys here on the channel. So I did tell you guys in the Create a Sim um, about their backstory, but basically how it boils down is we have Greta Birch. Oh, my dear, sweet Greta. She is a completely family-oriented sim. She was deeply in love with her husband, Arturo. I actually have uh, photos of them if you'd like to see. So this is Greta and her hubby, Arturo. Um, he passed away because he was slain by a wild rabbit, which apparently is a new death type in this uh, expansion pack. And this is them when they were rather young, I believe like 18, 19, somewhere around there. So Arturo was a big help, like a huge help around the farm. Um, and then when he passed, obviously Greta w had to kind of carry on the torch, right? And it's really hard to take care of all of this uh, farmland and the crops as well as the animals. It was just really tiring and tedious work. Unfortunately for Greta, um, she was at risk of losing the farm and she doesn't really want to be a bother. And the reason why she doesn't want to be a bother is because her son Enrique um, pretty much wrote her off, like wrote her and his dad off, Arturo, uh, to pursue this life of the glitz and glam. And only the only blessing, I guess you could say, is that uh, Enrique had a son named Theodore. Now, Theodore definitely has some elements to him that are very reminiscent of the original Birch family, being family oriented, um, lactose intolerant, a trait that he actually inhibited or inhabited or <laughs> inherited, actually just kidding, um, from his grandfather Arturo. So that should be interesting. Not to mention that our poor Theodore here um, also really doesn't like to get his hands dirty. Um, he is indeed a senior manager and how they <laughs> came to be um, in the story is basically Greta needed help. Like I said, she reached out to her grandson and of course, you know, he was very close to her as a baby. Uh, he kind of played on the farm. He didn't really grow up on the farm. This is him when he was like three. Um, and so obviously if his grandmother needs help, he's going to be there. The only thing is, is that, well, his wife needed a little convincing and Miss Trudy Birch, she needed convincing because she is not by any means like suited for this type of lifestyle. Um, I will say that her and Theo are cut from the same cloth. They appreciate the same things. Like she, you know, wants to be fabulously wealthy and he really wants to live in a mansion. Obviously, none of those goals really align. They actually used to live in San Myshuno. Completely different lifestyles, am I right? Here's the thing. Not only uh, does their lifestyles not necessarily align with living on a farm, <laughs> and also their likes and dislikes and preferences, but they're expecting. Trudy just found out she's pregnant, and now all of a sudden, her husband has convinced her to go live on this farm. Now, that was just the choppy version of the backstory. If you guys really want to hear the more um, well put together version, watch the Create a Sim. But now with that kind of um, history in place, I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour of the lot. So here is the beautiful cottage. This took me two freaking hours to build. We have the main level here, which obviously uh, introduces you straight to the kitchen upon entry. I love the kitchen so much. I Again, I only had the base game to work with, but I really do feel like the building assets in this pack 
back just make things so easy. Um, we have the living room here with this beautiful floral uh, wallpaper. Very busy, busy. Of course, we have a few pictures of Arturo and Theo. I would love to add more. Um, there is a typewriter that actually acts as a um, laptop that I distinctly remember telling you I was going to check it out and then totally forgot to do so. But yes, it does act as a laptop in case you were wondering um, if it did. Here we have one of two bathrooms and then we also have uh, Greta and Arturo's original bedroom. Now that Theo and Trudy are here, she kind of feels like she wants to give them this room, but obviously she's got a lot of like memoir of her husband and the biggest memory is literally this bed here so maybe we won't do that I'm not sure we might move them upstairs um, I did put in a little like cute like transition area from the kitchen into our little greenery room also it has access to the main bedroom it's like a hallway but also not I don't know how to call it I just needed like something to fill up the dead space and kind of make everything flow together upstairs is the attic which I call attic I don't know why it's just the way I pronounce it but I love it it's probably my second favorite room honestly and I do feel like for now this is a good spot for um Trudy and Theo when the baby comes we'll have to figure it out I was considering um converting this to a nursery but I don't know maybe we can build on this cottage I'm not 100% sure uh there is a pond in the backyard which features a brand new base game pond tool that you guys will be able to have access to I do have a complete tutorial on how to build ponds and also what the brand new features look like. I will have that video up um, hopefully already or maybe very soon, but definitely it will be coming. And then over here we have all the stables and stalls for our animals and some chicken coops and also our crop, which is very barren at the moment. I know in the backstory it specifically says that Greta was on the verge of losing her farm and there's literally nothing here to lose, but I wanted to experience getting chickens and getting cows and llamas and establishing our crops together for the first time since I actually haven't played at all whatsoever so we're just gonna have to kind of roll with the punches a little bit here and use our imagination just to tie everything together so uh Theo and Trudy just arrived at the cottage and let me tell you Trudy is kind of having what I would like to call a little bit of a BF yes bish fit um she's not digging it she's not loving it but of course she does want to support her husband I mean you know they've got their own things going on here and maybe it won't be maybe it won't be so bad I'm not sure Greta's gonna go and make a pot of coffee just to kind of neutralize everything while you know Trudy kind of tells Theodore how she really feels uh obviously Greta is still feeling relatively saddened by the passing of her dear beloved Arturo which is totally understandable um Theo on the other hand is really itching to kind of like talk to his grandma see what needs to be done even though he isn't like the biggest fan um of like gardening and things like that um he really wants to re-establish the farm and get it get it running on his feet again now i'm not really sure how exactly him working um as a senior manager is going to um you know be compatible with him living on a farm we'll kind of have to take it as it comes uh but the very first thing that i think i kind of want to do is maybe just like kind of let arturo and you know trudy have their their peace their moment and come over and check out these oversized crops so what we can do is we can purchase some oversized crop fertilizers uh we can uh, purchase some seeds regular seeds i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna purchase some of the over oversized crop up, uh, seeds for starters and then we'll just kind of see how it goes from there so we can get um at Aber Aberdeen? I don't know what it is. Is it like a, is it like a eggplant or something? I think it's an eggplant actually. I really do. Yeah, it literally shows it right there, Jed. Okay, so obviously we're gonna get a giant eggplant because why not? I uh, will grab a lettuce, a mushroom. I want to grab a little bit of everything. Thankfully, one. Um, you know, uh, resource that we're not lacking on is simoleons. I mean, we don't have like a lot of money. We only got 12,000, but I mean, all this is only 85 simoleons. So I think Greta here, um, <laughs> oh my God, she passed out. Sweetheart, no, 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 no. We're gonna tell her if she's tired because obviously coming to San Mishuno to Henford was definitely a long drive. Feel free to go upstairs. Um, she does have some pajamas, but unfortunately the pajamas that she has is, well, they are quite indecent to be around Theo's grand grandmother. So um, Greta, 
happily provided her with a little moo, which you guys are going to see here in a second. I'm going to have her go and sleep for a little bit. It's going to be really intriguing because obviously the outfits that these Sims are wearing are not going to work <laughs> for working on a farm. Um, but I, I can't wait to kind of see like the general. Oh my goodness. She never thought in a million years she'd be wearing a moo, -moo sis. You know what? Things are about to change, but I can't wait to see like the transition um, of how, you know, Theo and, and Trudy settle in to this this farm life so um let me come over here really quick and love on grams just for a minute i'm gonna give her a little bit of a hug and then even though theo hates and i mean <laughs> hates gardening um greta really needs his help planting some of these so i'm gonna go and snag some not all of the seeds but some of the seeds and we're gonna put them in theo's inventory so we've got a total of five here um, I'm going to have him kind of get his beak wet a little bit and we'll just have him plant two of them. So he's in charge of the mushrooms and the uh, pumpkins. And as you guys can see, they're like in these little jars. They're so cute. Oh my God. I love the details. Um, also, <laughs> this uh, horse he's had since he was like three years old. I, I don't know. Like everybody has, you know, their cuddly and apparently this horse is his cuddly and he actually got it from his grandma. So that's cute. Anyway, I know. <laughs> little details all right we're super duper hungry too um but you know Greta's not gonna cook him anything until we put in an honest day's work so we're gonna have him come over here and plant the oversized crop we're gonna have him do a little a little mushroom no a pumpkin seed I don't know if we should like keep them all in the same how many layers I got three it's fine we can mix them up a little bit we'll plant um, a pumpkin and then we'll plant the mushroom seeds here and then Greta I'm not sure she's gonna be able to have access to this crop but I'm gonna just put the other ones over there we're gonna do the lettuce and then we'll do the watermelon over here and the big old freaking eggplant on the right so I did want to show you guys very briefly kind of what this part of the world looks like I might actually need to take you guys into map view so that you can get an even better idea um, of how Henford is kind of put together should have did this first in the beginning of the video but I don't know I just get really excited and like I said we're keeping this super casual and and just kind of seeing where this whole like series takes us so right now we currently live um in the old new henford old new henford is an area that boasts rolling hills lush estates and a small community garden old new henford is perhaps best known for its historical naming woes initially known as little henford the neighborhood renamed itself new henford in an attempt to escape its diminutive origins however in neglecting to inform national map makers they ceased to officially exist exist for a two week period. When told that in order to be reinstated, it would require yet another name change, residents chose Old New Henford, which beat out the other choice, New New Henford, by a single vote. Ah, uh, this neighborhood, you guys, definitely to me feels like the best place to raise like a generational family. Um, I love the fact that there is so much detail within this neighborhood. You get four residential lots. Naturally, you could totally switch these up and make them um, whatever you'd like. But I also really love the addition of the river kind of flowing through Henford. I also appreciate the fact that there is a very, very, very gracious pond here where you can catch fish and all sorts of things, which definitely comes in handy if you are living um, that simple lifestyle, which is like a new life, a uh, new lot challenge. Also, side note, the thing that you guys may not know about the river, um, you can swim in it. You can do everything just like you could in Sulani. Super cool. We're going to move on to the second neighborhood, which is called Finchwick. Nestled along the river Big the old mill village of Finchwick prides itself on its bustling and close-knit community. Its historic square features a pub and quaint stalls amid a flowering garden, perfect for a little window shopping. Tourists and locals alike flock to the weekly village fair, where Finchwick's mayor makes a special appearance to judge entries and gossip about the latest happenings. Now, I haven't really been able to check out Finchwick, 
there was a little Sims private live stream that I was able to attend to. So I do have some fam uh, familiarity with the um, world itself and also some of the happenings that happen within it. So like, for instance, these buildings over here, you can actually window shop. It's crazy. I know you can even have your Sims like plan outfits and do things of that nature. And again, there are stalls where you can pick up ingredients because going back to that whole brand new lot challenge, you're going to need it. You can't just go and like <laughs> um, have unlimited food sources. You have to cook with ingredients. It's kind of crazy. Um, in addition to the Gnome's Arms, which is a pub, there is also two, um, I think three actually, three uh, residential lots as well. So we're going to move on to the last and final neighborhood, which is called the Bramblewood. The natural beauty of these woods have long provided a picturesque place for many wild birds, rabbits, and foxes to call home. Whether secreting a small surprise under Sophie the snail, bringing an easel to paint the serene Cordelia Falls, foraging for wild mushrooms, or finding romance along the ruins on the Isle of Lope, any sim would be transformed by a day in the Bramblewood. As mysterious as Bramblewood can be, there's a specific sim that lives here who might just be a little more mysterious. It is the creature keeper. You can actually perform errands for him and in return he will give you articles of clothing that you can address animals in and I do believe there's some other unique rewards that you can receive as well. Back home I wanted to check on the progress just to see how Greta and Theo are doing. Uh, Theo! <laughs> He hates it. He gave up like mid plant. Uh, 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 uh. You cannot let your grandmother down. Honestly, we need to get him some better clothes. That would definitely um, call for some window shopping. We know just where to pick those bad boys up at because I'm sorry. Uh, farming while you're wearing like these, I don't know what the heck they are, like dress shoes and this cardigan has got to be mighty uncomfortable. So um, after we've gone ahead and planted our crops, we are going to water them with our tears because I want these sad moodlets to go away as quickly as possible. Um, and then we are going to hold on a second. I was just looking at some of the other options. We can actually um, uproot the plant as well. Um, I need him to come and be as like supportive as possible. I feel like he really just doesn't want to do this, but he's trying to again kind of help his grandmother out uh lo and behold crying and watering the plants with tears um actually re reduces your sadness and um i love how theo is over here helping i kind of want to wake up uh trudy because obviously she's been sleeping all day she's pregnant she's not feeling the best maybe we'll have her come in and drink this coffee i don't know who it belongs to but we'll have her do that and then um i think we're gonna actually have greta come in and make some noms. There also is some brand new recipes too, which is really exciting. I think tomorrow we'll probably go down to, uh, what is it called? Fin Finchwood or something. And we'll go and get the kids some more, uh, you know, ideal clothing for this brand new farming lifestyle. So I want to cook some dinner, serve some dinner. I don't really have like a super high, uh, cooking skill, but I do think I think there is the ability to now make a foamy casserole, which I don't know if that's always been um, a thing. But again, I am lactose intolerant, so I do need to make sure that um, oh, we need a meat substitute. So it's still saying that I'm able to cook. Um, and I don't need the ingredients, but I could have sworn uh, I put down the lot challenge. Oh, I didn't. <gasps> okay, so it's perfect timing, actually. Going into lot challenges, you can select um, a few different lot, ch lot challenges. They've been now put into their very own um, UI, which will be available to the base game here as well. Um, we've got off the grid, and then obviously if you own cottage living, you can do simple living, which means this lot requires ingredients to cook all all recipes. Cooking with ingredients just makes food taste better. And then we can also add in wild foxes. Wild foxes will appear on this lot, being a nuisance to your garden, chicken, and rabbits. Um, I don't know if I want wild foxes, but for the sake of this LP, let's add both of these lot challenges in. I'm also going to throw in some balancing breezes. We're going to make it homey. And I think for right now, that should uh, suffice. Hopefully, she'll be able to finish up her um her dinner because honestly like we have nothing else that we can cook with 
Um, but all right, let's see how Trudy is feeling. She's okay. She really wants to flirt with Theodore, whom is in in his grandmother's bedroom right now. Um, just kind of feeling really sad. And now he wants to join her cooking. Oh my goodness, he can. <gasps> what? He's reading off the recipe to her. I didn't realize that that was a thing that like two adults could do at once. That's actually really cool because uh, Theo has literally no cooking skill at all whatsoever. I could envision um, poor Trudy feeling a little feeling a little jealous right now about all this uh, activity happening in the kitchen. I don't think she's too hungry, but she is a little hungry. Um, we're just going to have her sit. She's kind of like a fly on the wall, to be honest with you. I wonder how much longer it's going to take for grandma to make this... Uh, to make this casserole because we're literally literally starving um i did want to after we eat oh my gosh these are crazy big looking um do you guys see like the little the little fireflies and stuff oh my goodness this is so pretty um i guess i could show you a little bit around i just feel like i've done so much talking that you probably want to see uh, more gameplay than anything else but also i feel like the first episode is appropriate to kind of ramble on and just uh you know kind of just show off what um features are in the the expansion pack so here's a little our little um what you call it uh watermill i think that's what you call that i'm not sure we've got a bunch of different um like wildlife and also some harvestables here is our little pond where we can actually uh fish and then we've got this little area over here which is a cute little park for kids there was mentionings of a garden i haven't really seen those yet wait hold on <gasps> whoa okay cool so here is our garden i wonder if things are actually going to start growing over here what do we have so far um we've got a nightly mushroom that has not been planted yet i kind of want greta to come over here and plant this um and then there is spinach as well which i feel like might be an old an old um harvestable but i'm not sure and then we can learn about villagers and read about the finchwick oh finchwick finchwick not finchwood uh fair so maybe we'll do that tomorrow morning we'll have to get up super duper early to like check all this stuff out and then um there are some large crops also to be had really beautiful super super duper whimsical um i love the bridge too as well and you can actually go to the other side and visit your neighbors which is nice uh is there a place where you can swim okay so i'm assuming like over here you would be able um, to have your sims swim. And then there's also a blueberry tree, which is really exciting. Okay, cool. All right, so it looks like Retta is just about to turn in for the night. It's really late, super duper, duper late. Um, Trudy, on the other hand, she is just, <laughs> uh, she's actually cleaning, which is shocking. She's polishing to perfection. She is a little bit of a perfectionist, so maybe some of these traits will actually be very helpful. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is maybe have her go and sneak a little bit of this mysterious food that she would probably never eat in real life. And I'm not gonna lie, like, <laughs> Theodore's like, Hey, boo boo, that moon would look pretty good on you. Um, I also was thinking maybe, wait, hold on. She's making more coffee. Hell no, she needs to go to bed. I was thinking since she is kind of feeling a little awake, we could have her maybe start indulging in the uh, cross stitching um uh what's it called mini skill but for now i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna claim beds because we probably should go to sleep so that we can wake up super early and do all the fun things because right now it just kind of feels too late to do any of that can i claim the bed or is that like a thing that you can only do if you have like an expansion pack ew really seriously uh-uh that's gross okay well i'm gonna have her go to sleep she's already missing her husband terribly she wants to ask arturo about his day um arturo is buried <laughs> over here with the animals that's what that's what his heart wanted um and poor trudy she's so uncomfortable she really really is but i mean our first night here isn't too bad she's telling theodore that all of this makes her feel a little a little uneasy but to be honest with you he's trying to comfort her as much as he possibly can and i i think it's gonna be fine i think it's gonna work out so we're gonna have them um turn in for the night just because like i said there really isn't a hell of a lot to do and then i guess i'll see you guys in the morning i didn't realize how fast this part went we are almost to the very end which honestly makes me a little bit sad inside i know this 
first part was mostly about getting acquainted and doing a lot of talking. But don't worry, like I said, I plan on having a lot of content up for you guys. So it is currently three o'clock in the morning. We have Theo and Trudy still very much asleep. I mean, typically they don't wake up until maybe nine, ten o'clock. Kind of just depends. I wanted to have um, Greta come outside and start stocking up the uh, chicken coops and also maybe purchasing some new animals. Um, so we're going to come over here and purchase. Ooh, OK, hold on. We have two options. We can purchase a white llama. We can also get a beige llama or we can have a brown cow or a spotted cow. I'm not sure how many animals are limited to a corral. I'm imagining probably just one, but we'll see. Um, I kind of want to get a traditional spotted cow <laughs> for four hundred dollars. And then I think I think I can I can only purchase one that actually explains it shed capacity it's literally right there all right so we're gonna get one spotted cow and then I think I want to purchase a llama over here we're gonna grab I don't know the beige llama just looks dirty so I'm gonna grab a white llama for 350 let's do it I don't know if you guys saw that but we actually just got a little um, notification that says Greta has unlocked the recipe for friendly treats information about the friendly treat animal treat has been added to Greta's notebook open her notebook to learn more so I'm sure y'all are very familiar with notebooks typically um, they used to be I totally just gave it away uh, they used to be on the phone right like up in here somewhere or something like that I don't know or maybe in one of these menus I'm not sure uh, but now we have a hot button where we can just click it and we can actually learn a lot about some of the things that our sims um, knowledge wise gather along the way so for a friendly treat we only need any fruit or veggie uh, I definitely need it to have hold on a second is that I, th I thought I said a black cow why does this cow look all <gasps> Oh, he's so cute. Why are you, oh, he does. He, 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 he definitely black and white or she. I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't even want to do with this thing. I'm so excited. We can vent about our life to the cow. We can send the spotted cow in. We can actually milk her, clean, socialize. We would be able to dress them if we had any clothing articles to use. Um, we can give treats and stuff. All the things that we are going to be playing with. I wish there was like a better way. Oh, the whole socialize menu. Um, tell a joke about not having a cow. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one pet spotted cow enthusiastically um smother spotted cow with love oh ask about bonvin university we can also be mean ew no okay i want to build some damn relationship with this cow don't go inside no 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 come back out come back out ma'am excuse me call over spotted cow let's do it so in case you guys are wondering um animals like cows and llamas are limited to their um, I guess sheds piece. I can't remember the square footage of it, but they're limited. Chickens, if you don't have a fence, they free range. Like they'll walk all over the place. And if you have wild foxes, you know, being all stealthy and stocky and stuff, you might be missing goose goose pretty soon or chicken chicken, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to come over here. We're going to spend some time. I don't, I don't like that she keeps running away every two seconds. <laughs> this cow isn't a fan of it either. Um, we're going to tell a joke about not having a cow. We're also going to come over and do, um, some petting. Let's get acquainted. When's the sun gonna come up the fact that oh hang on hold on a second he thought it was funny he laughed <laughs> um the fact that it's like still dark outside and the kids are still sleeping is kind of awesome oh i love seeing greta so happy and if you hover over your cow you can get a little information about them so age young adult happy clean uh, their hunger is full, the attention, they're content, and there's also um, a option, or not an option, but a notification tells you about the next harvest, normal milk. Okay, um, I think you can change like the milk flavors too. So yes, 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 your cows, your animals, your chickens, everything has like a um, lifespan. I think there's ways to stop that from happening altogether. I can't really remember, um, but Greta is feeding her cow right now. Super cute. Okay, we need to like grow some things to be able to like um feed our cows treats and stuff so i definitely want to like stock up our gardens as much as possible trudy just woke up and <laughs> oh my god do you see the way that that thing was prancing prancing and dancing it's a white llama okay you know what let's name this white and all yes dolly the llama dolly llama i love it okay you know what we're naming her dolly we can shear her wool <gasps> 
what? And then we can make a llama face. We can pet her enthusiastically. Oh, she's giving herself a little scratch scratch. <laughs> <laughs> These animals are so freaking cute. Oh my god, I love her. She's like, Mim. Oh, oh god, that's the spot, sis. Sweet, like <laughs> cupcakes. Oh my god, I love her. I love her so much. Oh, that was so cute and exciting. Okay, next chickens. Okay, um, Theodore needs to wake the heck up and come out and uh, help with that, getting some chickens. Actually, you know what? He's going to get ready for work. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take Trudy. Okay, down to Finchwick and get her some new clothes. Have like a little girl's day or something. That's probably going to happen in the next episode. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I also had to change the color of her moo moo because I realized that <laughs> both Greta and Trudy had the same moo moo. Okay, but if Trudy gave her the moo moo, how is that even possible? I'm not sure. We're going to sit here and wait for her because uh, Trudy went, you know, looked out the window and noticed that Greta is out here, you know, straining herself and whatever. And I think it'd be really cool for maybe Trudy to kind of like, you know, come over here and socialize, maybe try to, you know, be friendly, all that stuff. I like this. This is actually a really fun like, already, you know, usually LPs start off pretty, like, slow, and this is definitely no exception, but I like the dynamic. It's making it interesting to me. Um, okay, cool. So, let's see what we can get into next. Um, we are, we, oh, we're able to name the chicken coop, okay? We're able to purchase chickens, and then there's actions, too, as well. Apparently, we can upgrade the chicken coop once we, um, get the required I guess, tools and skills and all that stuff. So we can um, upgrade it to Comfort Care Life Extender. Oh, okay, Coop, Auto Feeder, Fox Be Gone Alarm. I love that, all right. Um, but for now, let's name the chicken coop. So we're gonna Egg Island. Uh, I wish you guys could like comment in the comments and be like, let me know, but I guess Egg Island is fine. Or can we do a different one? I think it'll just like generate random ones. Egg Island, okay. Um, and Coopton Abbey, that's funny. That's funny. Cooped in Abbey. All right. So once you purchase some chickens, you have the option to pick from a variety of hens and roosters and different types of chicks, too, as well. Um, again, age, life states, all that thing, uh, all that stuff are a thing. And you have a coop capacity of eight. So technically, we could have like a total of 16 freaking chickens. 16 chickens. That's and roosters, hens, whatever you want. I don't know what to do. I kind of want to purchase like maybe um, I want to purchase a brown hen, a black rooster, Okay, and then I kind of want to get like a hen chick and a hen rooster and then also like a white and um, a white hen and a white rooster. Yeah, that's $875. Let's just go with it. And we're going to start with one coop, see how it goes. Of course, I don't want to like over... Um, extend myself but here is chick chick number one. Oh my gosh i'm gonna have trudy come over here because she's never seen chickens before i mean she has at like the grocery store <laughs> but not like this not like <gasps> look at there's a brown one. Oh, she's gonna go and feed it this isn't so bad she thinks oh my gosh theodore would be so happy to see this like right now i'm not even kidding look at her feeding him her it's a her right it's a rooster it's a brown hen oh my god so cute look at them waltzing out here and there is the chick <gasps> a little rooster chick oh and they even um it even tells you like where they belong to coop wise oh my god there's so many of them there's so many what's wrong with this one um it needs a little wait i don't know what's going on oh wait because there's no food in here oh no how do you work this out call chickens in assign chickens oh my god this is like so complex it's kind of ridiculous scatter feed nearby let's do it uh purchase chickens you hear the pew pews oh Oh my god. I freaking love this pack. I love this pack. I don't know what's wrong with this chicken. I really, really don't, but I'm like literally in love. Hold on. Encouraged to hold egg stocks. Yes, let's do it. Okay. So I'm not sure. Theodore's like, why is the house empty? Where did everybody go? Um, he probably should grab a quick little snack, but a part of him or part of me wants him to come out and see his wife getting down with the chicken coops. Oh my god, I gotta wrap up this episode here. I'm like, it's starting it to get good like really good and i don't want to do it i don't want to do it. i don't want to end it um but where's she oh there she 
is she's meeting him oh my goodness he's so sad still let's go in to give him a hug and then also um, maybe discuss some interests and I'm sort of thinking maybe possibly if there's any way that we could like um, I hate that everybody's so sad it like really irks me because I'm like so happy uh, tell him an engaging story about how she held a chicken for the first time that is so exciting um, Greta on the other hand I'm pretty sure she needs to come in here and tend to her uh I think these are chrysanthemums. I'm not sure. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up this episode here. Yeah, you guys will see me again here very shortly with another episode. And we can take this little miss to go window shopping. I'm very excited. <laughs> Get in, loser. We'll go in shopping. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, read, and subscribe. <gasps> Let me know what you guys think. Uh oh, in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Yeah.